Rico's getting a lot of mileage off of the EX uppercut. He definitely is. The shadow Run. Dragon Kick. There's an apple in the water there. Should have tried. In the back, there's some there's, fish. There's some fish. There's some fish. This is the first time we get to see a little bit more of the stage. Uh, a lot of the guys here have been playing the build, which is only playable right now on this stage because, Correct. as we heard earlier, there's a big lighting change that's going on with AI right, right now. So we're, we're saving that. The rest of that for later. So you can just enjoy Kim's stage for now. It's really cool. In terms cool of some music. of the other bigger changes that TJ got, uh -huh. what are... I did notice how you can't use Tremor as a linker anymore. Right. Uh, Tremor linker, uh, to be perfectly honest, is causing us a lot of problems with tuning. Uh, he used a recapture reaction, and uh, it was really hard to not make him plus infinity and make the manual rules work with that. And uh, ultimately we decided he already had, that was like four linkers, he doesn't need four linkers. We decided to just axe that one. Gotcha. And they got an ender only special. And his new big ability, or kind of new trait that he has, is these unique target combos. Yeah, he has cool, you know, I guess, techie com target combos that work on whiff. Like Cinder does, mm -hmm. but they're very different in function. Cinders are very stationary. Yeah, they keep a yeah. spot. They kind of they pound you into submission and, and they're frame trappy. But TJ's are very. He jumps theory. forward. Oh yeah. Yeah. He moves. He really moves. Um, he just really great whiff punishes with his new target combos. The thing I like about it the most aesthetically is that it really looks very boxery. Yeah, yeah. He they returns back to his old right. old yeah. TJ root look. Totally. Yeah. They're really fun too. You can use them as manuals or in juggles. Um, I don't know if you'll see that from our players here yet, but... Uh, time for pain. I don't think uh, HK Smash knows that the, the power line yeah, is not worth no the damage anymore. It's no longer the... Oh, it's the third most damaging now? It is. Yeah. So he's gonna... If he wants just raw damage, he's gonna want to go for the flying knee. And yeah. That's good because the knee ender the probably most. looks the best out of all it's of them, so in my cool. opinion, too. Yeah. Just want to see the power so knee. we make it good. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, priority from looks, yeah. Rico sitting on three dragons and instincts. Dragon Pop instincts, stomp, let's get a little... Wow. Yeah, TJ's getting back up, though. It's all right. It's okay. What's gonna happen? Still in instincts, we can't shoot out a couple of dragons. Kim being very evasive, and no ultra. Oh, God! Rico, please. Slight lapse of judgment, but nice. still takes it off a of back throw. He does. He's getting there. Uh, I don't think Rico's super comfortable spending the dragons on the cancels yet. He's not sure exactly where to do that. Maybe occasionally uses it as an air dash or to keep something weird safe. But, you were mentioning uh, that Kim's normals, especially her, her kicks, are, yeah. are kind of like short. So anytime she kind of uses like the nunchucks, that really extends the range. I think it was standing medium punch. Standing medium punch is a great button. Standing hard kick is actually a really good button too, but the, the her lows are pretty stubby. Wow. Good, to be honest, like crouching medium kick doesn't go that far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great counter breaker. The, the double kick weren't command normals, that's actually a special move. Correct, that's okay. a Dragon Dance set of special moves. So kind of just like when you run with Wolf and you have three different options, the Core Circle Back Kick has three different options with Kim. Gotcha. And so Kim you do Light Kick, you do the Axe Kick, the Medium Kick's the Double Roundhouse, and the Heavy Kick's the Double Cross Kick. And those those specific kicks, the one we just saw, like the, the Flying Kick, don't have any invincibility. It's just no. doesn't have a natural like uppercut with invincibility. That's one of our biggest weaknesses. Right, you have to use the Shadow Meter for that. Perfect. Um, the, the Dragon Kick is more of like a thread the needle kind of footsie punish. Oh, get me over really there. Really early anti-air tool. And especially if you have a dragon, because uh, you can fly across the screen, dragon oh, yeah. cancel. And it does mega damage, too. It hits really, really hard. Um, it hits like power line hard. You might see Rico use that a little bit more for mobility to get yep. in on TJ than just to go for just yep. kicking him in the head. And Rico, see, finished there with the, the firecracker under, which generates one dragon. It's a good way to end the round so that you have something to Is keep that, yourself safe. That's her least damaging ender? Correct. Okay. We're going to consider see... like a resource ender, a meter ender, so it'll have the least damage. Speaking of enders, if you guys missed the Season 3 Reef Balance from the older characters, we're going to see a few different enders that didn't exist in KI until Season 3. So Encourage a little more variety. You know? Yeah. Especially Sadira now has a proper damage ender. It's yeah, going to be does. pretty different. It's so cool looking, too. I love it. I think it's my new favorite ender. Sadira's damage ender. I love that one. Like, trying to catch each other right now. Oh, yeah. TJ lost the invincibility on his roll? He did. Or it, I thought it was minimized. I didn't uh, think it was completely gone. Yeah, so it's now still, to mobility. He's still projectile invulnerable. Okay. But he has no physical invulnerability. He just has an upper body. So TJ so can no longer... Hits, he can dip under, but he, you can sweep him. He, he can no him. longer wake up CVS to me. That's right. Okay. No more wake up CVS to me. Ooh. Good Ooh. neutral jump punish once again ultra, from Rico. Ultra. Oh, we got it. Punch, punch. Oh! oh ultra ender. TJ's back up. That was an automatic ultra it's ender because TJ still had health. Oh, okay, okay, caught her okay. in the sky. Oh, oh, HK, please. oh, oh, oh it's all very oh, painful. Man, that was nice. Very and, good. Yeah, Kimbo was not getting up for that. No. She didn't have Well, look out for the truck. 
You know who's in that truck? <laughs> I heard Fulgore's driving. I heard it was Bison. Really? Yeah, at the end of the Street Fighter movie. Huh. Yes. I guess Special. You didn't see that, did you? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line so much. He's oh, like covering his eyes. Change the channel is a good one. I love that movie. Kim, also, we haven't seen Rico do it yet, has an exchange throw where he can flip the sides. And it's a little similar in utility to Thunder's, but it doesn't have the restriction. Where Thunder's yeah. has to be done at a very specific point. Right, it, it's a little more free, and you can cancel it like it's a special move. Mm -hmm. So you can do it in weird block strength and catch people off guard. Uh, it's probably the trickiest way to open people up, but obviously you sacrifice your first hit damage right. because you're starting with a no damage command grab. Uh, I think it's a really good way to open a quick combo and just like do one manual, do Firecracker Ender, get a dragon, get out and keep the dragon as threat for some sort of, you know, real trickiness. Something later on. Yeah. The, we did see you using it very early on during the uh, the exhibition. Right. Kim was first shown in the middle of, like, the nunchuck Oh, yeah, swing. I get mean. I get real mean. And then you throw it out in the middle of that, and it's actually, like, a setup to go into the grab. Right, because people will learn to shadow counter yeah. the the nunchuck copies. Right. Um, so you're you're going, it's two hits every time. On hit one, you just dragon cancel it. They shadow counter, they whiff it, and you get to blow them up. Uh... There's another way to blow up shadow counters with Kim as well. Uh, you may try canceling on reaction to a shadow counter into command throw. Interesting. Yeah. So, we'll see so if you grab them out of the opening frames of shadow counter? It's pretty good. I can, I can see it in my brain, it's but I, I kind of can at the same time. I need to see it happen. Good shadow counter from HK nice. Smash. And shadow counter is much more powerful in Season 3 than in the previous two seasons. So we will start to see them more as players become uh, used to Season 3. The next comes out in March. As That's these combo breakers more. happen, as we saw TJ got broken out of a combo from an air hit, which yep. put him on the ground similar to old school style combo breakers. Right, but it's a blowout, so you can't juggle. Mm -hmm. And now combo breakers return you back to a neutral stage. Just so, like that. yeah, TJ hit the ground, you're ready to start fighting again. Yeah. And according to a lot of people uh, that have played today, it actually makes matches go a bit faster. It does, it's a pace increase for the game for sure. You see that? Wow. His combo breaker, he goes straight into Superman. Kim Wu says no. I will stomp on the floor. Very nice. New to the new uh, shadow counter buff. Yeah. That kind of jab, is actually going to work not now. not blow up shadow counter anymore for most characters. And will Rico go? Got to put him down, get the dragons out of it. TJ's we, still alive. We have three dragons though, nice. You think has mobility. Oh yeah. Ooh. No! Open her ender. That was not on purpose for sure. Oh god. And man. wins off the throw. Slightly you know, anticlimactic, you know but still really good. tricky with the, the dragon cancel <laughs> off a of jump. So you know, you bait throws in this game a lot, you jump straight up. Yeah, neutral jump punish. Because yeah. they think you're going to throw. If you jump straight up and you realize they haven't thrown because they waited, and they're going to answer.